The Sunday night execution of 23-year-old Denroy Nicholas in Punta Gorda remains under investigation, despite police not having brought any charges against persons in custody. Nicholas, who was set to appear in court in Dangriga, was shot once to the right side of the chest by someone who waylaid him inside his yard on Tukan Street. Whether his demise is in any way related to the matter before the Supreme Court is a nexus that is yet to be established. What have the police been able to share with you? Perhaps their investigation, if they've made an arrest, if they're looking for these individuals, have they been in contact with you? Yes, so far they came this morning and according to them they're doing their best to find whoever is the culprit. And then thereafter we're going to get ready for the burial. That was on Monday. It has been two days since and police are seemingly no closer to making an arrest despite detaining a pair of men in the wake of the deadly shooting. Is there an element of turf warfare being driven by outsiders who have relocated to Punta Gorda? To some extent, yes. And um, those persons are regularly targeted and searched um, by the police. That is a part of the strategy um, ongoing down there in PG. Phyllis Nicholas is a mother of eight. Over the years, she has lost three of her sons to various forms of violence. Admittedly, she told News 5 that Denroy has had issues with other individuals in PG. So far, he will be the third one I buried. Seven years ago, I had my 24-year-old then got burned in a house here in PG. In, a, in revenge of the same, whatever you call this. And exactly 10 years, the 29th of the January, the first one will take 10 years since and chop him in Roaring Creek. So, for me, it's it's very hard, but like, you no know, God no give you more than what you could take. So I'm trying to cope with the situation. I'm trying to be strong. I still have three sons and my two daughters, and I have my granddaughters to be strong for. So I'm dealing with the situation the best I could, but it's not an easy road. Reporting for News 5, I am Isanika Etano.